Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my N64 on the Pi 3 video. This isn't going to be like the other ones where I'm telling you everything's going to work and show you a bunch of games that have worked since the Pi 2. This is going to be a little more blunt. Everything doesn't work, and the N64 is a lot of trial and tribulations to get things to work. It's not as simple as it's solved and let's go. You've got to really try on games you want to play to get them to work properly. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple games that initially got me interested in the N64. It's not Mario 64, it's not Mario Kart, it's not Smash Brothers, it's not Goldeneye. We know all those work. I'm going to do Cruise in USA and Star Wars Empire, Shadows of the Empire. So let's get going here. First thing I want to cover is I'm going to go here and I'm going to show you a nice little feature of RetroPie which makes this a lot easier than if you were doing this just by compiling your own. And that's the run command menu. So let's go in here. I'm going to show you some options here. So when you go into this, you get a old looking screen, like an old command line looking screen and menu, different than what you were in emulation station. And you get some options. First, there's default emulator. My default I have set uh, for the Glide N64 plugin. That covers most of the common games, all of your Mario, Smash Brothers, all that stuff, will work on that. And I run on the resolution, uh, it says here CEA1, it's just 640 by 480. Um, I found that's a good resolution, everything works nice on it. If it's going to work, then that's where I go. And then there's more specific things. You can actually specify an emulator per ROM. Now I'm not going to change this one, it's Mario 64. This is what it should be, and it works. So I'm not going to bother with that, and I'm also not going to launch it, because we've all seen this one done to death. But I'm going to move on to Cruisin' USA, and same thing, we're going to go into the Run Command menu. Here, for my option 2, Select Emulator for ROM, I have it set for the Gless to Rice plugin. I've tried all the plugins, and this is the one where this game has the most chance of working. Um, same thing for the video, CA1, and I haven't changed any of the settings, so let's get going here. Get the title screen going. Oh, it makes you wait for a minute on this. Here we go. All right, okay, so far. So far, so good. Let's go with this guy. Now here's where we start to stutter a bit. Which is a bummer, because this was one of the first games that got me to like N64. You can see the music's a bit stuttery. Now, I'm getting a little disappointed here, but I've got a surprise to make this run a little better. And we're going to do it right now. And there we go. So it's not perfect, but this game does work if you... Oh, you son of a... If you go into the driver's seat, the game does, in fact, mostly playable. But as you can hear, the sound struggling a bit. And it's a bit of a bummer, because, like I said, this is one of the games, along with Shadows of the Empire, that got me to like the 64. After coming off the SNES, Mario 64 was kind of like, what are they doing here? This doesn't look good, but... So... It is playable if you can tolerate the music. Like I said, don't stay in because I come back out here, and it's alright for the moment, but... It's definitely slower when I have my car in here. Oh. All right. 
<laughs> cool stuff. Oh, apparently I'm in first. All right. So it's playable, it's not perfect, but for nostalgia purposes, I can tolerate that. <laughs> Let's move on to Shadows. Okay, so this one as well, after a lot of testing, I've settled on the uh, Gless to Rice plugin. That's what it works the best on. I tried the other ones and the menus almost gave me a seizure. Go ahead and try it if you want. It's quite hilarious, but on uh, this plugin, it's tolerable. Okay. a bit skippy, but once we get to the gameplay, it's much more tolerable. A little slow on this part, but let's give it a minute. Trust me. Hey, I resume. I'm trying to skip through. There we go. Transition's a bit slow again, but glitch it out a bit. This one's pretty rough on all the menus, but I can put up with that. Whoops, if I get to shoot some ATS
point there. Oops. Come on. Yeah, the menus are dreadful. Here, I'm going to show you the first person part too, because that's also decent. Maybe. Hair. Yeah, yeah, man, new stuff. Get off the screen. Come on. There we go. See? There we go. Nice and smooth. Easy guys to shoot. Okay, for my last one, I'm going to do Mario Tennis. Um, this was not a favorite of mine. I'm not even any good at it. But a user on my last video, the Dreamcast one, asked me to try it, so what the hell. Um, to get Mario Tennis to work, I had to use Glass to Rice. Um, Glide N64 worked, but for halfway through the next set, the game would glitch out and stop playing. And on um, the other plugin, Glass to N64, it actually froze the system then to reboot. So, if you're gonna play Mario Dennis, Glass to Rice, that's what you want. So let's get going here. A little bit of weirdness on these intros. But once it starts going, it's okay. Or I can leave. We plays are a little weird, but we can get past that. Oh, son of a! I hate tennis. Anyways, the game works. Personally, I hate this game, but there you go. So that's all I'm going to show today. N64, it's great, and definitely you do get a performance boost on the Vi 3. Not everything's going to work. All the core games do work, as lots of videos have proven. Um, and you can get some other games to work if you just poke and prod with the plugins. So if you want to get into work, my best bet suggestion is to try. And it either will or it won't. So, good luck. <laughs>